Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do things a little bit different. We are going to break down my Beretta A300 Outlander to make sure everything is good to go, especially with that duck season is upcoming soon. We're here within the next couple months. I did clean it uh, pretty well after last season ended, but I'm just going to make sure everything is good to go and just basically show you all how to disassemble and assemble if you do have a Beretta A300 and might need a little bit of help disassemble and assembling back. So basically what you want to do to start is you're going to take it and you're going to unscrew this top cap of the shotgun, which should pretty come off pretty easy. Once you remove that, you can set that to the side. Then you're going to take off the forearm cover as seen here. Once that comes off, your barrel should basically almost disengage by itself. Then once you take the barrel off, so you can set that to the side. Now this is where some people run into troubles. Um, what you're going to want to do is, see as this is loose right here, this bolt, your carrier bolt should come right out um, after a couple wiggles. It should come right out. Then once you take that out, you have this little pin right here. See if I can get it good. Right here, that basically disengages the entire trigger mechanism. Now what you're gonna do here is, I'm gonna put this towel underneath this so I don't punch the pin all the way out into the floor, is I normally take a little screwdriver, um, something that has a smaller point you can use a punch or an allen wrench, whichever you decide. You're gonna put it right on the pin and lightly tap it. It does not take much to get this out. Then once you get that towards the other side, I'll lift it up just to make sure, as you can see, the pin's already starting to come out. I just wanna lift it up a little bit just to make sure I don't put this into the floor and give it one more final small tap and the pin is now out. You can set that to the side, make sure you do not lose it. Then once you do that, the trigger mechanism should just basically fall almost right out. You shouldn't have to yank it, pull it hard or anything like that. It should just basically fall out. Once that comes out, you'll disengage the action on the shotgun, which should come out. Now be careful because this may come out in a couple different parts when you do take it out. Um, the slide comes out separate from the action or the bolt of the shotgun. If you want, you can take this um, part apart further if you need to. I normally will leave it together. I will only take it apart at the end of the season to thoroughly clean the shotgun, but if you're doing a quick cleanup in between hunts, then I would recommend you just take it down to this part. And that's basically how you take it apart. There's really nothing left to this shotgun. Uh, that's all one piece. If you do want to clean the piston of your shotgun, it basically just comes right out. You'll find it on your barrel. It slips right out. Mine is a little bit dirty. I'll probably end up cleaning that right before the season starts. But as far as now, it just pops in, pops right back out. That simple. Now to put everything back together, it's basically reverse steps of how you disassembled it. So we're going to take... Oh. See, if you want to take it apart, this is how it comes apart. It actually just came apart just now but it is nothing just to you just slide it right back in and good to go it lines up perfectly it only goes in one way so you can't really get it wrong so you're going to take your action you're going to take the action bar itself and there is an indention if you can see right here that you're going to slip it right back into it fits perfectly in there then you're going to kind of i kind of hold it with my thumb it makes it a lot easier um, and then transfer it into this hand and hold it all together. It makes it a lot easier to slide back in. Then you're basically just going to take it. You're going to slide everything back together. And it should slide right back in. Now what you want to do, there is this little piece right here. You're going to want to make sure that goes back into. You're going to feel in there if you reach in. They have a little 
spring down here. You're gonna to wanna to line that up to where the pin hits right on the, let me see if I can get a flashlight in there for y'all. The pin should hit right on the spring. If it's not, you're not gonna be able to reassemble, so make sure it's on there and it goes all the way down. Once you get that spring in, like I said, it should basically depress all the way back and come back forward. Then you're gonna grab your trigger mechanism all again, and what you're gonna do is just slip it back in there. Make sure this bolt, there's a, a little hole right here that you wanna make sure that this little pin right here on the back side goes in there. Just slide it in there. And make sure when you're assembling it back together, if you don't do it correctly, this will make your entire trigger mechanism want to come out. So what you're going to want to do is press the bolt release and then push your loading spring in. And then once you let go, it will engage and stop it from doing that. Once you get your trigger mechanism all back in and secured, you're going to take the pin that you took out earlier. You're going to slide it back where you got it, right here in this little hole. I prefer this side, I don't know why. You're gonna slightly tap it back in. Doesn't take much. I know, I kinda hit my shotgun, but it's durable, it can handle it. So, the pin's back in, everything's flush. Once you get your bolt back in, you make sure everything is good to go, that you can actually slide your action all the way back and it does come back forward. What you're gonna do is you're going to find your <clears throat> bolt handle. You're gonna basically just put it back the exact way you took it and it should slide in pretty easy, just like that. Everything should be good to go. All right, and I want you to get your bolt handle back in. Everything's secured. You're gonna wanna depress um, the trigger to make your action come back. After you depress your action and it stays back, you're gonna wanna take your barrel. Basically just slide it right back on. Make sure everything's lined up and it should slide in pretty easy. I want you to do that. It's starting to look like a shotgun again. Um, then you're going to take your forearm handle. Just basically slide that right back on there. It should go all the way and butt up to the gun itself. Then you're going to take your end cap. You're going to twist that back on. It's basically just a screw. You don't need to put it all too tight. Two fingers should be enough to be able to make it tight enough in there. Once you do that, you're going to slowly depress and everything should be good to go. So slide back and forth, put the safety back on, and that is basically how you disassemble and reassemble a Beretta A300 Outlander. Well guys, that's about it. If you found this video useful, make sure you like this video check out our channel we have plenty of other fishing videos up and hunting videos to come make sure you hit that subscribe button for future content and stay tuned for another episode of louisiana outdoorsman